Hey y'all, Eric here with another one. The grass is greening up and it is time for early spring dethatching. So I wanted to make a quick video, a little more detailed than my previous videos on this topic. Also wanted to take you into the lawn, show you a little bit of the green up progress. Also show you the Celsius progress on that Poa Nua section uh, that we had a couple videos ago. And without any further ado, please like and subscribe and let's get right into it. First order of business is to blow the grass. Now I'm not gonna blow on full power. All I'm trying to do is you can see I'm kicking up a lot of that thatch uh, or just the you know old dead grass uh, from the dormancy. And I'm just loosening it up so that the mower can suck it up as it goes through. Now I'm gonna go down to three inches to start. And what I'm gonna do is just mow. I may be taking off a bit of grass. Uh, there's some blades that are, are growing faster than others, as I mentioned in the last video, up where uh, the drive is, the, uh, the cul-de-sac. That's warmer soil up there, so we're definitely seeing more green up in that area. Also down uh, below, we're seeing a little bit more green up. But in the middle, which is typical with St. Augustine coming out of dormancy, if it's not near any uh, cement or concrete, or asphalt, it's gonna take it just a little bit longer for that soil temp to get to um, you know, 55, 60 degrees where they're starting to get happy. So I'm just gonna go up and down and suck up as much of that thatch as I possibly can. Now, I didn't wanna bore you with going back and forth, uh, dumping out the bags, but you'd be surprised, even though the grass isn't that tall, there were, I had to dump three, I think three and a half bags on this and uh, that's just all the thatch that we loosened up uh, by going over with our blower and uh, loosening some of that stuff up. What I'll do in about three or four days depending on the weather is come back uh, at two and a half inches because as I, as the grass starts to grow, um, I want to start with the base where I'm a little bit lower. Reason being is I do want to promote outward growth, uh, but still leave enough blade for uh, the sun to, to hit the grass. But I also want the grass to be able to breathe. As the grass grows, more thatch will be loosened up as well. So the more, uh, the more often I do this, uh, the better. It's just like mowing in your grow season. Um, I'll only mow at the two and a half one time, and then I'll go back up to three for a while, um, for at least a few weeks. Uh, the reason being, again, is I want to promote that outward growth as opposed to uh, tall growth as we get into the green up season. So, as you can see, sorry for the shadows and maybe a little bit of the wind noise, but we are getting some green here. Definitely cleared off some of the thatch, which I just call this dead grass from the uh, from dormancy thatch. Um, but some of that's gonna stay and uh, the thatch will build up. Uh, next year, I will be um, applying a uh, product for that. This year, we don't need it. I mean, I can get to dirt pretty, pretty simply, so. Uh, but we are greening up, folks. Um, the uh, wild violets are definitely a problem on the borders, and they are getting into the lawn. I'll be doing a video on how I'm going to fully eradicate those this year. I've been kind of playing patty cake with them for the last couple of years, but um, I'm going to douse them with uh, some Avenue South a couple times uh, back to back to back, and that should take care of them. But that's another video. Uh, let's go take a look at that Celsius application on the Poa Nu in the backyard. So here we are in the area where you've got the bunch of that Poa Nua. And as you can see, the Celsius is definitely damaging it. Uh, that was a high rate with surfactant. Um, I did mow it a week after I applied, um, but I will be doing one more application just to make sure that it's gone. And we'll see how the uh, St. Augustine underneath, uh, at least the St. Augustine that is there, because it was pretty bare to begin with, how that survives. 
in a situation where you had Celsius during the spring green up. Well, that's it for this one, folks. Dethatching isn't the most fun thing to do in the lawn, but it is exciting because it means that the growth season is right around the corner. The work you put in today will definitely pay dividends. Tomorrow, you'll eliminate fungus, uh, bedding areas for insects, things of that nature. And uh, about every three or four years, you might have to add a dethatching, dethatching solution, which uh, we'll talk about next year when I do that in the spring. So thanks so much for joining me on another week and we will see you on the next one. Bye now.